doing, if you followed along in this series, uh, last video uh, was me uh, cloning this hard drive over to an SSD that I installed in the video before that, so that now this 500 gig hard drive is cloned, like I said, to this solid state that's mounted under here. Um, if you want to see how that's done, look back at the previous videos. Um, but now that we've upgraded, or now that the boot drive, the OS drive, is a solid state, I'm going to install a one terabyte drive to replace this 500 gig drive. And we'll use that for data. And the SSD I put in it was a 500, uh, 512. Uh, 500 gig. <clears throat> so, Dell has these uh, plastic drive caddies. And, of course, I already pulled off the power and SATA connectors. And these just spring back, kind of push down, on, push out on the drive. And it just snaps out. So, we've got this one out. Okay, I have to release these as well. There we go. And you can see that SSD mounted down there. We've got a brand new Western Digital Blue. And we'll put it in just like it came out. What just fell? Y'all hear that metal? Oh, the little uh, pin popped out. There we go. Alright, so we'll put this one in. Make sure we get those pins started. And push on these tabs. It is in. So now we just plug up and I want to make sure since I'm switching drives, I can't remember if I swapped them around yet or not. I don't think I did. So maybe I did. Nope. So we're just I'm gonna go ahead and swap make drive one or actually it's drive zero my primary which is the SATA or the SSD and then SATA one will be this one so it's actually the second drive then the third is the CD drive so all done pretty quick and easy install thanks for watching